Hello, and welcome to Blue Day. Today we have Save You, one of my top 20, for J. Iries, Toaster Dog, JT Elder, Savio Lopez, Kalor26, Kevin, Renato Gomez, and that's it. <laughs> and insert your name here. No more commas in that sentence. All right, here we go. This song is so fun to play, ready? The first thing you do is you mute all but the low E string with, well, I use my pointer finger, but you can use whatever finger you want. In order to mute, you touch, but do not press. So, then, you strum, and all you're gonna hear is the low E string. I think technically it's an up beat, so it could be an up strum, it could be a down strum, but it is an up beat. And you wanna hit it so hard that it goes sharp, just like in uh, Far Behind, right? That was fun. Okay. Followed by, play the A string, 13th fret, and again, we're gonna be muting everything now except for the E string and the A string. And maybe even the E string. You could try muting the E string with the top of whatever finger you are using for the A string, 13th fret, or you could leave it open. It's a big messy thing, so whichever one you like better there, but definitely G, B, D, G, B, and E are muted during that move, which is A string 13th fret, A string 12th fret. Really just three strums there. One, two on 13, one on 12, and then just two strums of open madness, and then a C power chord that is on the 8th fret of the E string. Grandma always brings, and one half step higher than B is C. So you can play C here on the 3rd fret of the A string, you can play C here. On the 8th fret of the E string, they're both the same, but obviously since we're up in here land for our... This is a more convenient C to play than this C. All right. And then, of course, the one that's different is an A power chord now. The most convenient place to play it is the fifth fret of the E string because that's A power chord, 577. Seven. The only other place to play it would be the 12th fret of the... A string, and that's not the right octave. So, and then after that many, right before they go into the chorus, you give it a and then you turn around, so to speak, on C. Up, down, 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 up. One more time. And then you're into the chorus. We're already almost done with this song. This song's fun and Easy, I don't know about easy. Simple, simple, maybe not easy. Uh, we turned around on C. Then we play a D power chord. I like to do it on the fifth fret of the E string. And our strumming's gonna be just the same as that turnaround was. Up, down, 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 up. Up, down, 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 up. Up to E. Up, down, 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 up. Up to G. This is little known, but it's the tenth fret of the A string. An easy way to know that is a would be the 12th fret of the A string. Go down one fret from A, you have G sharp or A flat. Go down one fret from G sharp or A flat, and you have A. And then down to C. You could do this C, or this C. Doesn't much matter because we're going to the 5th fret of the A string D uh, next anyway. So, turn around on C. D. E, G, C, D, E, G, C, D, E, D, 
E. Best part. D, C sharp, C, B. Just one strum each there at the end of the chorus. So here's the whole chorus, starting from the double whammy here. you'll hear Mike chime in with his uh, famous and that's going to be the two becomes one move which I call because you're going to turn the G string into the note that the B string is and as it happens you get that neat noise as the two notes interact okay so it's G string uh, 10th fret and B string 8th fret now that is a we're going to use our same method that we did on the A string to find out what this is so 12th fret of the B string is B, and 10th fret, a whole step down, would be A, and a whole step down from A, of course, is G. So he's making this F on the 10th fret of the G string turn into this G. So you bend the G string, but not the B string. And then move it up two frets. You definitely hear those. Uh, you might hear... Move it up three frets after that to B13 and G15. And two frets after that to 15 and 17. I thought I might have heard some hints of that going on, but it's low in the mix and uh, I didn't have really nice headphones on. So, But you decide for yourself. You could do it if you like. Um, there you go. So that's the chorus. And then what do we have? Oh, we have the part where uh, Stone chimes in with... And that is your whole verse deal. And then you bend D fourteen. And then Mike, of course, chimes in at the end of that situation with. Which is D string fourth fourteenth fret. I can't see today. I'm like one of those dogs. Okay. D string fourteenth fret. G string fourteenth fret. Back to D and then bend your G string. that whole down part where there's only bass until the guitar comes back in on the A. That was terrible. So, is there is but you something with me? That's me. save you fun and simple maybe not easy it's a crazy one but it's really fun to play so put some time into it and enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed that I hope that was helpful and thank you so much all of you for being here this is just wonderful it's the best thing I could be doing with my time so until next time have a wonderful day and I'll see you with more stuff goodbye